we are beginning on this Labor Day with some changes in law enforcement management on the Monterey Peninsula. After three years as police chief for both Pacific Grove and Seaside, Vicki Myers will do just one job. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran is live in Pacific Grove with our top story. That's right, Dan. For the last couple of years, Police Chief Vicki Myers has had a hard time getting the approval of all of the officers that she leads. Now she'll just be able to focus on one city instead of juggling two. Given all the things that have happened over the past three years and the changes that are happening both at a national level as well as in the peninsula, we really feel at this point it's time to have a full-time police chief just for Pacific Grove. Over the weekend, the city managers of Pacific Grove and Seaside received a letter from police chief Vicki Myers suggesting it's time for her to return to Seaside PD full time. She has been leading both departments since 2012 after the previous chief retired. The goal was to cut costs and benefit from her experience leading a local city. In many ways we have benefited. I mean, for instance, crime rates this year in almost every part one category are down over last year, so we're still a remarkably safe community, but there are always more things we can do. The decision to end the contract for shared services comes a month after the police officer associations of both cities issued a second vote of no confidence against Vicki Myers. In a statement on their Facebook page, the Pacific Grove Association says that both groups believe that Chief Myers does not have the knowledge, skills, or abilities to serve as chief of police. They also claim it has been difficult to recruit or retain qualified officers because of the environment she has created. For Pacific Grove, it will mean a larger expense for the top cop. The city manager says he believes this decision is what's best for everyone. Based on the discussions we've had in Chief Myers' letter, it's just import as important to Seaside, we believe, that they have a full-time chief dealing with the issues there as that we have a full-time chief here at this point. Starting Tuesday, Pacific Grove will begin the search for an interim police chief to take over during the transition and, of course, a new leader for the force. Dan? Bianca, thank you. The city is working with an executive search firm. They expect that recruitment process to take anywhere between four and six months.